Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you caught our last video where we put Morimoto XB LED taillights on this Tundra, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video because today we're complimenting it perfectly with Morimoto's XB LED headlights. The new XB LED headlights for the 14 to 21 Tundra is gonna to be a great upgrade, whether you had the factory halogen or the factory LED like my truck came equipped with. The biggest difference you're gonna notice is while driving at night. When I drive this truck at night with just the factory headlights on, it's really not the most light output and I always drive with my fog lights on at night. The new headlights that we're gonna put on today, you're gonna to get higher light output it's gonna be a brighter, crisper beam pattern. And overall, it's better aesthetically looking because you have the option of both a on-off turn signal or the super sexy sequential. All right, everybody, so without any further ado, let's get started on installing our new headlights. First step in our process is obviously we've got to open the hood. So let's go ahead and hit the release and we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and raise the hood. If you guys have one of these lights, this is gonna be a very handy tool. If not, you can pick them up uh, pretty much anywhere. All right, so the steps to removing the grill, pretty simple. You have four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of the grill. There's a couple of pop clips on either side, and then we're gonna remove the Tundra plate here, which is gonna give us access to the wire that controls the collision avoidance. So we're gonna loosen all of that up to pull the grill off, and then we're gonna have a couple more clips that are buried under here, and pull this panel off, and then we'll get our headlight out. So we'll start up top with the four 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and set these to the side. Grab our panel removal tool, and we're gonna remove the clips here on either side. Lift up and go ahead and pull them out of the way. One more on the other side. Pull that one out. Next thing that we're gonna remove is the little cover plate right here. It says Tundra on it. You can either use a tool or you can just pull it right off with your finger. Set that to the side, put our tool down and we're going to go ahead and find the retaining tab on the wiring harness that's directly below that and press it. Give it a little wiggle and it will come right off. Next step in the process is we can go ahead and lift up the top of the grill to clear the little mounts of where the 10 millimeter bolts were held in. There's retaining pins and clips along the bottom here. Just go ahead and grab the bottom of the grill Give it a nice little wiggle. If you have any sort of other aftermarket accessories on your grill like I do, I have our Anytime Backup Camera Kit and I have some uh, grill lights here. You're gonna wanna undo any wiring uh, that may be behind your grill so that we can completely remove the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of unhooking my camera and my lights and then we'll move to the next step. So real quick, I just wanna show you the backside of the grill. Obviously the four 10 millimeter bolts up top, we know about the bottom is held on with these assortment of clips. So that's what you're pulling to release by grabbing the bottom of the grill. If you have the factory bumper on there, there's actually enough room. You can usually get your finger up below to push up on the little lower tabs. Sometimes those are the ones that hang up the most. The rest of them will just come out. And like any other install that we've done, Go ahead and make sure that all of your little clips are in place so when we put the bumper back on we'll be good to go i actually have a wire here that is hardwired to the fuse box and the battery so we're going to just take this whole assembly we're going to set the grill up there out of the way next thing that we need to remove are two more clips there's right here next to the headlight and then a lower one here so we'll grab our panel removal tool and pull those out All right, we're gonna set these to the side. Now that we have those two clips out of the way, we're gonna remove this lower plastic trim piece here. Uh, the outside here is just gonna be held on with some clips here where it meets the fender. So just give it a gentle pull away. You can see it starts to separate. Give it a gentle pull and this entire piece will pop out. You can see there along the fender, it's really just kind of press fit 
into the plastic bracket here. So set this out of the way, protect the painted surface. Now that we have everything opened up, we only have three 10 millimeter bolts to remove to actually get the headlight itself out. There's gonna be the two on top and there's one right here on the side. We'll go ahead and remove those and pull the old headlight out. With all the bolts removed, we can lift up on the tabs on the top, lift up on the headlight. There is a bracket right here behind the air dam that we need to clear a little tab there. Pull straight out towards you and the entire headlight assembly will come out. On the back, we have one, two, three, four connections. Go ahead and depress the tabs on those, release all of the connectors and we'll set this headlight to the side. Last thing we need to do is release the wiring harness from the headlight itself. So if you wanna grab your tool or just a small screwdriver, just to press the sides. The thing that we like best about these Morimoto lights is they are directly plug and play. They come with all of the plugs that are gonna match up to your factory truck. They also have the headlight leveling motor here. It's already a part of the assembly. Everything is here in your box. You'll get whatever adapters that you need, whether it be for the main harness or for the turn signals. Let's take the headlight over to the bench. We'll go ahead and connect everything to the headlight and then we'll come back to the truck and connect it to our factory wiring. Before we make these connections, let's talk about a few harnesses that you'll find in the box. The first one here is the one with the Adafuse on it. This is for your DRL function. Uh, if your truck was not originally equipped with DRL, you simply pop this into the fuse block and then these two connectors here will plug into your headlight. The second one here is a little short pigtail. This is the adapter for your turn signals. So we'll hook this up in a minute. And the last and most important one, this is the main harness for the headlight. So you'll see that it plugs in here and then the rest of the plugs will go onto the truck. Do a couple things here and then we'll get this on. So we'll set our other adapters to the side. Now, one important thing to note before we do this, on the headlight level motor, if your truck had that from the factory, like this TRD Pro did, there is a cap on top of the connection that needs to be removed. If you did not have that switch or that function, leave the cap on top so that way you don't get any water intrusion into the connector. So for this application, we're going to remove the cap and then we'll be able to plug the rest of our harness directly into that. So right here on the top of the motor, again, just push the tab. See the little cap comes off and we can set that to the side. So this is a matter of matching plugs. Each of them are different, so there's no way to, to mix them up. So we'll start with our connection. We'll put our turn signal adapter in place and you wanna push these until you hear a nice click. And we're just gonna go around and match them all up. One other important note, we have one connector here that's already connected to itself. Just has a, a one wire going in each side. This is the connection that controls whether you want your standard on off blink or sequential. So if you have them connected together, it's your standard on off. And we're gonna go ahead and disconnect them because let's be honest, like I said in the taillight video, Sequential is better. Let's take the headlight and we'll make factory connections and we'll get this into place. All right, so let's start making connections. Grab the main connector here. That's just gonna match up to the truck. And we're just gonna keep working our way around and finding connectors. Well, triangular one that's gonna go to our motor. And we have the main three-prong harness that obviously goes to itself. There's a nice push. Double check that we have all of our other connectors. This one little guy right here, that's for the DRL harness. And then like I said, the other two are for the turn signal function. And we're gonna lift the headlight up and plug in our motor. Make our last connection here. And we're gonna work all of our wires back in behind the headlight. All right, so now we have our headlights seated. We have the two tabs up top hooked. I wanna go ahead and check, make sure that the bolt hole on the side here is lined up and that you have nice even fitment around the edge of the fender here. So we'll go ahead and put the bolts in loosely just to hold the headlight housing in. We'll give it a quick function test and everything should be good and then we'll button the truck back up. 
With those loosely started, I'm gonna go in the truck, put the truck in accessory power and test out the new headlight function. All right, so I put the truck in accessory power, went ahead and turned the lights all the way on and hit the hazards. So you can see there are three beautiful crisp white diodes there in the middle. We got the sequential turn signal function going. Uh, we're gonna check the high beams and then we'll be good to go. So I have Michael in the truck, he's helping me out with this. I'm just gonna pull back on the high beam switch just to check. Yep, and you see the high beam activates here in the innermost light. So everything seems to be working. At this point, we're just gonna repeat the process on the other side and then we can start putting the truck back together. With the function fully tested, let's go ahead and tighten down the three bolts that hold in the headlight. Grab our lower trim piece here, get this fitted. We're gonna start on the outside near the fender. Just pushes back in place. We've got our two holes lined up. Grab our pop clip. For these, they should already be pulled out, but make sure the pin is pulled out and then snap those back into place. At this point, you can go ahead and reinstall your grill and make sure that you reconnect anything that you disconnected to free your grill from the truck. All right, we're gonna center the grill. Line up our four mounting spots on the top and then the bottom are just going to give it a good push all the way across At this point do not forget to reconnect your collision sensor uh, if your truck is equipped with it if you don't don't worry you'll figure it out as soon as you get in your truck it'll be a nice little warning on your dash and then you'll just have to come back and plug it in so let's do that we can reinstall our cover plate got our other two plastic clips Go ahead and put those back. Lastly, we have our four 10 millimeter bolts go across the top. So we'll grab our tool. All right, guys, there we have it. We have the new Morimoto XB LED headlights in place. We've got our truck all put back together. It is an important note that these typically come from the factory aimed pretty well. We do have vertical and horizontal leveling functions on the back of the headlight. So if you need to re-aim your headlights, you can absolutely do that with this setup. Our recommendation is to park your truck about 25 feet away from the wall on a flat surface, and then you can check the beam pattern. If that's not something that you feel comfortable with doing, then obviously you can always take it to your local shop that is equipped or capable of aiming the headlights for you. So that is another option. All right, if you guys wanna pick up a set of these Morimoto XB LED headlights for your 2014 to 2021 Tundra, go ahead and head over to the shop at www.trailgridpro.com. Last important note, these do come in a white or an amber DRL. So whatever your preference is, Morimoto's got you taken care of. Till next time, have a blast out there.